All right, it is coaching time. And we are coaching Mac. My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Uh, okay, what was the mistake here? You never let one person push one choke like this, especially fast. So it's okay if you're going to lurk. When you're splitting like this, you need to be going with your teammate so you can get the trade kills, right? Good lurk. Overheal. Uh, so here we have a flash. We need a flash to get this gun. That's we need to do this. Yeah, we griefed there. It was a very good try, but I think we griefed there. Ult. We don't have smokes, bro. This omen hard throwing. How's this plot? This isn't good. This is not good. Okay, good trade. Uh, so I think our movement is a bit uh, clunky. Uh, so our crosshair placement is not really... Something's off here. Our, our crosshair placement is kind of all over the place. Yeah. Look at look where we're aiming. It's like after we clear this, we need to be holding for this, right? I, I feel like our crosshair placement isn't so this is a good example of having our movement ahead of our crosshair placement. We're peaking angles before our crosshair is ready for that. And before we're ready for that. Before we're ready to take gunfights, right? So we need to Okay, this isn't bad actually. Last player standing. Uh, I th so this play would have worked if we didn't have Phoenix playing off of our contact. I think this might be a little bit too nitpicky, um, and you know I don't want to you know, really dive deep into every little mistake during clutch situations because obviously it's a high pressure situation. Uh, but I, I think we fight here. I think we get this kill and then we go for the second one while our Phoenix, our Omen is fighting our Phoenix. But still, all good. Should throw a second one too. He does. Oh, it's on plat. Bro, how does he not clear a single thing? What? What are we aiming at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're slow peeking too much. We need to be we, we need to be doing something what's called quick peeking. Oh, my. No, you can't be exposed from over here. We're in very We're in a very bad spot here. And I feel like we're we're scared from everything, right? Like we're not even ready for this like I think we panicked here. I think this was more of a panic here. We needed to just be holding for this guy. Meet you now. You want to play? Let's play. I don't know what I'm doing. What do you think about Raw XL? Uh, what are we doing? We're quick switching way too much. We're, we're f okay. So this is one thing that I'm noticing that we're doing a ton. We, we're quick switching a ton and uh, we're reloading a bunch. Aesthetics, I guess. So we have the sheriff. We should be looking for long distance fights, right? We, we sort of lost our value with the Sheriff. The Sheriff is strong for first round when you take long distance fights. It immediately becomes not as good when you start fighting up close. Why? Because it does 55 and 1. So we should be looking for long distance fights. Uh, this is a little bit of a grief. Uh, 
How many did we see? One, two, three. We've only seen three. Man. So this was a bit risky. Why was this risky, chat? They aren't a bonus. They're bonus. Ah, yes. That's what I was looking for. Yes, yeah, so we give up C here. Hopefully we can plank. Yeah, I like this play. Plenty on C over. He understands it. Yeah, I like the play. It's just unfortunate. I got lucky. That shot full heal. Nope. You out. Ooh. We LOS. Be careful with these LOSs. With the line of sight here. With the tether. Dude, there's just too mid. I don't really like this angle. I'm not a big fan of peeking this right here because you're exposed from so many different angles, right? This, I think, is a super disadvantage for, for defenders. Like, they could be here, they could be back here, and they could be up here. Like, the elevations for their head level could be all over the place, and yours is very static. Does that make sense? So, usually you want to avoid situations like this where their head level could be very versatile, and yours is very set in stone. This, in my opinion, puts you at a disadvantage already. I like this play. We should go now, though. A little bit late, though. This isn't good. We waited too long. We waited too long to peek here. So we needed to either peek earlier before the dog gets us, or we need to not be there. Come. What do they do well in the session? So, so I thought the way that you use your ults was good, right? You should just use it whenever you have it up and you're retaking or you plan on pushing into a site. So that was good. Uh, I actually really liked your lurk timings. Your lurk timings were good. Don't get scared to lurk. Even though you are playing Reyna, it's fine to lurk like that. Um, especially on an eco round. There was a round where you had a classic, you got a kill, overheal. I think that round was winnable if you threw a smoke or a, your flash to cross to get the gun. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. What should they do to spend time practicing before the next session? Okay, so the biggest problem that I noticed, I think, is our crosshair placement and how we're kind of clearing angles. We do a lot of slow peeking. Um, and what slow peeking means is just you're holding shift around corners. It's a highly contested angle where they could be there, right? And you need to be peeking with intention, right? Every time you peek a corner, in your mind, you should be envisioning that they're around that area um, before you peek. And you could do what's called a fast peek, uh, where you can let go of shift, you can take two steps, and you don't make a sound. You have to practice this in a custom a ton, but if you line those up together, you can get the hang of it and you don't make a single sound without holding shift. So you should be doing that every time you're peeking new angles. Uh, you'll get the jump on the enemy a lot a lot easier. Another thing too is like when we're going fast, our movement is ahead of our crosshair. What that means is we're peeking angles before our crosshair is ready for that angle. Uh, and sometimes it catches us off, off guard a little bit too much. We either slow it down or we just need to be more in line with when we peek this angle, okay, they could be here. And then we peek that uh, kind of thing. What should we work on the next session? So I'm just gonna use this as like an extended thing of to improve on. Uh, so another thing that I'm noticing is our movement is a little bit too, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's it's a bit rough, right? I feel like it's not smooth. We don't have a good decision in mind with what we wanna be doing with our positioning. And sometimes with our positioning, we get caught out, we're like exposed to too many angles, panic a little bit, right? I, I think we just have to have like something in line with like, what choke am I watching? What is my teammate watching? What am I exposed from, right? These need to be going in your mind when you're playing certain spots because if you're exposed from multiple angles, that's usually a very, very bad spot. Uh, and we need to you know, reconsider and, and you know regroup from there. And if we are in a bad spot because our teammates died because they were watching something, then we need to be picking up the most immediate threat, holding for that threat, and then use Reyna to dismiss to get yourself out of those situations, right? All right, good stuff, good stuff. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description. Click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.